I would be devastated. I mean, it's it's my passion. New at 10, the state budget, a continuous problem for the education system. This time, it's not teachers, it's programs for students being affected. Straight funding was cut for the state science and technology fair with no plans to bring it back. Two Works For You reporter Katie Wisely shows us how Cassia Hall High School students plan to fix the problem. Through this door in classroom 60, test tubes sit in a glass jar. I'd always known I wanted to be a doctor. Behind them, Braden Milford's masterpiece. I call it the simulated stream flow system. This project focused on the fire retardants that are dumped to contain wildfires and how it affects the environment. The sophomore even got to study an active wildfire in Colorado. So once I had the solutions of the fire retardants in uh, the systems, I put snails in each tank and within 24 hours all the snails in the tank died. He plans to showcase his work at the Science and Technology Fair Friday, but there's a possibility this may be the last one. Students not only from Tulsa, but from all over the state of Oklahoma won't have an opportunity to develop their scientific thinking skills outside the classroom. As of 2016, the state funding for the Science and Engineering Fair was cut. Students say if funding isn't found, Oklahoma will be the only state in the country without a science fair. It takes about $50,000 to run the science fair program statewide. So they took matters into their own hands. We decided that we really needed a student-led organization to spearhead this project. It's called Oklahoma Students Advocating for Statewide Science. Four Casha Hall students working towards gaining funding from corporate sponsors just to continue to have a science fair. I would be devastated. I mean, it's it's my passion. As they show their work, and these students the praying they can continue their passion. Katie Wisely, Two Works for You. The science fair, by the way, will take place in Ada this Thursday and Friday at East Central University. Twelve students from Casha Hall will attend.